Hey, how you doing today? I wanted to share another recipe and spend some time on it. And it's a timeless recipe and it's kind of a staple of the Filipino people. And it's so yummy. I don't eat it all the time because of uh, just forgetting that it's an actual recipe. But when I saw that I have all the ingredients already here, I thought I'd just go ahead and capture it on tape. So what the recipe is, is cabbage and corned beef stir fry. It's so, so yummy. So here are the ingredients. One tablespoon of cooking oil. So here's my cooking oil. Two cloves of garlic. I got it pre-measured right here. Two cloves of minced garlic. One small onion. So I have my onion cut up here already. So this was a small onion, okay? One head of cabbage. So if you don't like cabbage much, much, but I love cabbage, you can do one half head of cabbage. But I love cabbage with this because I can basically use the fats from the corned beef to kind of simmer this in and it tastes so so good so we're gonna cut this one up one half teaspoon of salt and then of course our star ingredient is the one can of palm corned beef so this is palm corned beef and it says with juices product of new zealand and the weight is 11.5 ounces now if you can't get this particular one not to worry you can go to the classic corned beef, the one that's in the square pan and it has a little keyhole, key ring or key with the little keyhole in it and then you kind of twist it around. You could use two of those in place of this, but when I could get a hold of this corned beef, this is the one I prefer. So let's get to cooking. All right, so I'll go ahead and start my skillet here. Okay, put it on low. And this is my skillet that I love so much. I think it's a 14 inch. So one tablespoon cooking oil, so about one tablespoon. Two cloves of garlic. One small onion. Okay, so while that is warming up, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly cut up this cabbage. So you could do, do a rough cut or you could do a slim cut. So I think I'll just kind of do something in between. Because I don't like my cabbage leaves big, but I don't like them too small either. Okay, so I tend to not like this white stuff in the middle, but you can include it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that one out. I got plenty of cabbage here anyways, just because one whole head. producing a lot of cabbage. All right, so I got two plates full of roughly cut cabbage right here. Okay, so one and two. Okay, so let's put in the salt. Alright, so let's get that cooking. I'm just looking for the salt. Okay, 
Okay, so about one half teaspoon of salt. So what I'm gonna do now is add my palm corned beef to one side of the skillet. could be eaten raw, so we kind of just flash cook this. Okay, so let's see how, how much we could cook this down. a lot of cabbage but um, if you want to use half the cat half the amount you can do that too but since I'm already cooking it I just put in the whole head of cabbage because I love cabbage it's such a healthy cruciferous vegetable it's on, along the lines of eating broccoli and kale Teaspoon because I can tell by the cabbage that it's going to need a little bit more flavor. Okay, so when I put the instructions down underneath the arrow bar and text when I put the recipe, I'm just going to do the option between one half to one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so coming along, the cabbage is wilting. Really, really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix it all together. And you can see by this recipe that it's a simple recipe. It only has one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. One tablespoon, one to two tablespoons cooking oil, two cloves of garlic, one small onion, one half to one head of cabbage, one half to one teaspoon of salt, and of course, the palm corned beef. So that's one, again, one, two, three, six really easy ingredients. They sell, them at, they sell them at your local grocers. You don't have to go out of your way to get it. All right, so it's looking almost done.
until it's done. I'm going to put it on a plate here for you to see. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let me bring the plate up to you here. And here it is. Here is a corned beef and cabbage stir fry. It smells so delicious, the garlic and onions. And the corned beef and the cabbage, it works really, really well together. And if you have rice, definitely eat it with rice. But if you don't, it tastes just as delicious without rice. There you go. Ooh. Don't want it to spill all over the place, but here you go. Looking really delicious. And that is, again, a staple of the Filipino people and is so, so yummy. So I hope that you try it one day and let me know how it goes. And I'll be putting the recipe and text right underneath the video if you press the, the tiny arrow right underneath the video, okay? All right, take care. Bye-bye.